galactic episode begins at Space Race Headquarters in Washington, where General G.I. Brassbottom has reached an important decision. Gentlemen, I've reached an important decision. I'm going to use my get-out-of-jail-free card instead of rolling for doubles. Uh, but, sir, how about the space flight to Venus? Yes, General, have you made up your mind about that? How come you guys always change the subject when I get Boardwalk and Park Place? Sir, our space scientists report that conditions are perfect for a manned flight to Venus. Don't you think I know that? No. no. Don't be insubordinate or I'll forget you're my nephews and make you go to officers' candidate school like everyone else. Uh, yes, yes, Uncle, Uncle General. General. Now, who are we going to send? We are sure our spaceship can reach Venus, but the trip might take years. We just can't spare any of our astronauts for that long. Uh, maybe we could find a volunteer. Who would volunteer for a mission like that, knowing they might not get back to Earth for a long, long time? Gentlemen, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And so it was that Roger Ramjet reported the next day to Cape Canardley, Connecticut, where he was to take part in one of the most serious space missions in history. Did you say a few years? Yes, Roger, there's no telling how long you might be gone. Oh, but, sir, I can't do that. Who will run my hero business while I'm gone? Your young friends of the American Eagle Squadron can fill in for you. Uh, but my library card comes up for renewal next month, and I have a dental appointment, and... You uh, should have thought of those things when you volunteered, Ramjet. I didn't really volunteer. You called me up and double dared me to do a nutty thing. Ramjet, are you turning chicken? Sir, I don't know the meaning of the word. Oh. Well, it's a bird-like creature with feathers that goes... But after some serious thought on the matter, Roger Ramjet agreed to make the dangerous flight. But what if I run out of fuel? There's a credit card in the glove compartment. See you around, Roger. It's good to be home after that long space trip. Hope the kids are okay. Yes, old-timer. Can I help you? <laughs> what do you mean, can you help me? I'm the leader around here. I'm sorry, sir, but I happen to be the leader of the American Eagle Squadron. Yank is my name. Yank? Well, Yank is just a boy, just like Doodle and Dan and Dee. No, she's a girl. Who is it, Yank? Oh, hello there, old fellow. <laughs> Look, Yank, he's wearing that old-fashioned squadron uniform. Haven't seen one of those for years. Dodo, Yank, don't you recognize me? Well, you do look familiar. Did you ever live around here? But don't you know Roger Ramjet, that all-American good guy and devil may care flying fool? Oh, poor Roger went on a mission to outer space 20 years ago, and he hasn't been heard from since. That's his picture up there. Yes, most people have forgotten about him, but not us. He was a great guy. Boys, don't you recognize me? It's me, Roger. Rip Van Ramjet is more like it. Come on, dag never, boys. Let me in. Sorry, old timer, we're busy. Come back some other time. Wait, open up in there. I'll punish you both for this. Open up, I say. Ramjet, are you all right? Speak to me. Oh. Oh, well, that's the hero business for you. you. Go away for a lousy 20 years and they forget all about you. Ramjet, snap out of it. The rocket misfired and fell right back to Earth. You were knocked out for about 20 minutes by the impact. 20 minutes? It seemed like... They're getting another ship ready, Ramjet. You can try it all over again. Let me out of here! I don't uh, want to... Ramjet, come back! Ramjet, come back! 